Hi boys and girls, here we are in Awana again. We're starting a whole new section. We're going to be talking about the Bible and learning about what's in the Bible. Not, not everything, but all the highlights of the Bible. And today we start with what's called the Books of History. And that's the first 17 books of the Old Testament. And it tells us about the history of God's people. So we'll see that in a moment. So those first 17 books of the Bible are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. So let's start out in Genesis. There's a lot to be said about Genesis. There's a lot hidden in this. And in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's the first verse in Genesis. And it tells us how, how God made everything. He made the he made the earth, he made a beautiful garden in the earth, and he made two people, Adam and Eve, to live in that garden. And he told them, you can eat of any tree you want in that garden, except this one particular tree I don't want you to eat. But they tried it anyway. They sinned. They did something against God that got displeased God. And because of that, God sent them out of the, the beautiful garden, and they had to work for the living after that. And so they had sons and they sons had sons and daughters and and the people grew and uh, but they had sin in their life. And so they did bad things. They did things so much that God was so displeased with them that he decided that he would only save one family and all the animals and would destroy everyone else with a flood. So Noah built that ark. You heard that story before, and he put all the animals in it and his family, and they were saved from the flood. Now, after the flood, he had offspring. He had people and sons and daughters and granddaughters and grandsons and so forth, and, and the, the, the earth was starting to be filled with people, but they wanted to all stay together. They didn't want to uh, fill up the earth like God wanted them to, to spread out. And so they said, let's build this great big tower and that'll keep us together and and we can always look at that tower and say that's us and we'll stay there so that displeased god of course so he said hey co okay he changed everybody's language so they couldn't understand each other so that forced them to spread out and go and form different cities and and towns and and they grew and 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 more and more people were on the earth and so finally god chose a man called Abram. Later, later, his name became Abraham, but he was called Abram in the beginning. And he said, I want you to go to a place that I've promised you, a, a land that I'm going to settle you and your, all your people after you. And you'll be a great nation and you'll bless all kinds of people. We'll see that in our memory verse later. So Abraham had a son, Isaac, and Isaac had a son, Jacob, who had 12 sons. And one of them was Joseph. And Joseph was the favored son, and the other, other sons of, of Jacob didn't like that. So they, they were very displeased with Joseph. So they decided, we're going to get rid of him. So they sold him to some people who were going down to Egypt as a slave. And he was taken down to Egypt as a slave. And he got in trouble, and he got in jail. And, and uh, finally, God raised him up because he was able to tell Pharaoh, the, the leader of Egypt, what his dream meant. He said, your dream means you're going to have seven bad years, seven good years of, of, of plenty, of lots of grain and other things will, be, will grow in your land. But then there'll be seven years where there won't be anything growing and you'll have, have a, what's called a famine, not a lot of, a lot of food available. So because of this, uh, Pharaoh made... Uh, Joseph second in charge in Egypt and said, okay, you're going to collect all this food during the seven years. So we have plenty during the seven years we don't. And so uh, Joseph's family had to come down to Egypt. He brought them down there and he settled them in Egypt and they had plenty of food to eat and they were saved. And this, is, this was all God's plan to save the people. And so Genesis ends, it ends with this. Then we go up to Leviticus, ex, excuse me, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Uh, after a while, these people were in Egypt and they were doing very well. And a new new pharaoh, a new leader of the Egypt, came along and he said, 
hey, these people are going to be a problem. We're going to make them slaves because they're getting too many people. And so he made them slaves. He didn't remember what Joseph had done for the other, other leader of the country, or the whole country, actually, what he did. And so they were in slavery, and finally God raised up a man named Moses who was able to free the people from their slavery and lead them on a journey back to that land that uh, had been promised to Abraham way back many years ago. And so this is the story of them traveling on their way back to the land. Then we come to Joshua. Joshua took over the, uh, the, uh, the head of uh, the people after Moses died. And he was the actual man who led these people into the land. And they were called Israelites because Jacob's name was changed to Israel by God. And so they would be called Israelites and they, they settled into the land. And once they were settled into the land, they ran into problems. They had the they had the sin nature that everybody had. They did the wrong things. There were people there that were in the land that worshipped things other than the real God. They worshipped idols and other gods and, and different things. And the people there, the Israelites, started following some of these other gods and following these other things that people did. And this displeased God and he... He caused other people to invade their lands and give them problems. And people would then say, oh, no, we're doing the wrong things. We, we're sorry, God. And God would raise up a thing, what we call judges. And the judge would help the people to get the, the people that invaded the land out and get things back to where they'd be going, what they should be again. But the people then, after a while, they went right back to their old old way of going and they did the wrong things again and God brought in other people to invade them and this happened over and over and over again and so this is the whole story of all the different judges that that helped the people get back where they belonged now we come to a, a book called Ruth and this is a little story that's in the middle of everything during the judges time uh, there was a time when God was punishing the people and they weren't getting a lot of food. They couldn't grow a lot of food. And so uh, a lady from the Israelites went to, a, went to another land called Moab and she settled down there for a while with her husband. She had two sons and the two sons re uh, married two ladies from uh, Moab. One was named Ruth. Now the lady, lady from Israel, her, her husband died and her two sons died. And she was just left with her two daughter-in-laws. And she, she finally decided she could go back to Israel again because things were all right then. And she told the two ladies, you stay here because you're, you're a Moabite and you, you, you know what you're doing here. You settled here. I don't have anything to offer you. But she led, Ruth decided to go back with the Israelite lady. And she went back and she eventually married a man from Israel. And they became ancestors of Jesus. We'll learn more about that later. Now we come to 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, and 1st and 2nd Chronicles. And this is the story of, starts out with Samuel as the last judge. He was the judge. He was leading the people in the right direction. But the people saw other, other people of other lands had kings. And they said, we want to have a king, just like everybody else. Now, God wanted to be their king, but they don't have to have their own king. But so God let him do that anyway. And he supplied a king. And the king's name was Saul. Not the Saul of the became Paul in the New Testament, a different Saul. And he was the king for a while. And then David became the king. And David had, had a son who was a king after him. And there were other kings that came up after that. And finally... Part of the Israelites decided, we don't want to follow that king. We'll make our own king. So they made another king, and the land split into two people, two, two lands. We called Judah and Israel. Israel being the main part, and Judah being some other tribes of Israel. So both those countries existed for a while, and they had good kings who led the people to follow God and do the right things, and they had bad kings which... Uh, encouraged the people to follow these other gods and idols that other people had. 
And finally, God took both those kingdoms and led them into captivity, not at the same time, but, but one first and another one later on. Then we come to Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. And this is the story of the people in captivity and how God helped them to bring them back to the, to the promised land again. Uh, God eventually let the people come back and they were able to settle down again and build a wall around their, their capital city and, and things uh, were much better than for a while. And so we end up the story of the Israelite family who eventually uh, Jesus was one of them and we'll learn about, more about that later. So see you next week when we'll study more about the Bible.